Now we have the action button, which is a brand new feature on the Apple Watch Ultra. None of the previous Apple Watches have this. So let's talk about the action button and what it can do and how you can customize it to your needs. With the action button, you can choose what you like for the action button to do. They give you tons of options right off the bat. So we have workout, stopwatch, waypoint, backtrack, dive, and flashlight. So depending on what you want your action button to do when you click it, which is right here, you can choose any of these options. I'm going to click workout because I think it's a useful tool for the action button. So let's click continue right here. And next is going to take us to this depth section in the settings where which the depth app can actually automatically open underwater and measure temperature, time, and depth. This is also a brand new feature on the Apple Watch. And I think it's super useful if you like to scuba dive or go underwater and swim a lot. So we have the option to click open depth app when submerged. So now your Apple Watch Ultra will know when you're submerged underwater with this depth app. So I think it's a super useful tool. So let's click that right here. And now we also have this diving safety just gives you a little heads up about underwater activities are risky. So just be safe when you're using this depth app with your Apple Watch Ultra. Let's click continue right here. So earlier on in this video, I showed you when we set up the action button, which is brand new on the Watch Ultra. When I hold down or click that action button, it's actually gonna start a workout and I can choose any of these workouts that I wanna do at the moment. So watch what happens when I click this right here. You're gonna see it's gonna take me to the workout app on my Apple Watch Ultra. And now I can choose tons of options on this workout app to choose any of these. We have indoor walk, outdoor run, indoor run, outdoor cycle, tons of options to choose from. Essentially any workout you want to do, you can find on your Apple Watch Ultra. This is also the same case with the Apple Watch Series 8 and previous Apple Watches. The fitness app is a great tool because it offers almost every single workout you can imagine right here on this app. They even have basketball and like soccer. It's super cool. So that's my action button. Like I said, you can customize this later on or depending on what you want to have that action button do. But this is mine right here. It takes me to my workouts, but this is a super cool feature that I brought to the table with the Apple Watch Ultra. So I previously set up with the action button. I want that to signify and start a workout when I click that action button right here. But if you click right here, you can actually choose what you want for your action button. As I previously showed you, we have stopped, watch, waypoint, backtrack, dive, flashlight, shortcut, tons of options to choose from. And you can also have none if you want, but I definitely recommend having that because the action tool is a super new feature and super cool feature on the Apple Watch Ultra. But since the workout app is pretty self-explanatory, I want to show you some of the other options that you have with the Apple Watch's action button. So for example, if we go to settings and we click on backtrack, for example, and now if we click the action button, this is one of the super cool ones right here, you can actually start a backtrack. And what that means, your Apple Watch can record your route in case you get lost. So it'll know where you are and it can actually help you get back to the location if you are lost for some reason. Like I said, the Apple products actually introduced tons of new safety options with their products. And this is one of the new ones with backtrack. So if you click start right here, it's going to show you where you are and also help you find Find your recent location in case you get lost. But let's go back to settings right here and let's try dive right now. So for example, if we click dive right here, basically what's going to happen is if we click the action button, now it's going to show how deep I am in that water, how fully submerged I am. It's going to show me that depth and I can still use my Apple Watch no matter how far I'm underwater. I'm pretty sure the limit is 100 meters, which is super deep, but this is super cool. I'm also going to walk through the depth app later because it comes on the Apple Watch itself. But this is one of the other options you have on the action button. And then next we can also add a flashlight as our action button setting. So if we do this, I already showed you a little bit about the flashlight, but now if we click the action button this time around, it's going to take me to the flashlight and I can turn on all the different modes for this flashlight. And if I want to turn it off, I just double click that action button again. And now I'm back on the homepage of my Apple watch. But if you want to change any of your action settings, all you have to do is just go to settings and go to the action button right here. You can also have none, but I prefer having the workout completely up to you though, but this is a brand new feature. I think it's super cool. And just know that you can access that in the settings of your Apple Watch Ultra. And in addition to the workout section for your action button, if you scroll down, there's a few gestures I also want to show you. So you can press once to start a workout and that'll start that workout and that timer for that specific workout. But if you press it a second time, this actually allows a second action to take charge and you can actually run multiple workouts at once in case you didn't know that. So just by clicking it once, you'll start one workout. But if you want to do a secondary action, you just click that twice. You can also press both buttons, the power button and the action button to pause that specific workout if you want to take a break. Then lastly, if you hold down the action button similar to the power button, if you hold this down, what's going to happen? It's going to turn on the emergency sections like the sirens and other emergency features. And now we also have safety, which is a brand new feature for the Apple Watch and the brand new iPhone 14. And with safety, Apple Watch can help in an emergency with emergency SOS. So for example, if you hold the side button on your Apple Watch right here, 
you can actually call emergency services and notify emergency contacts. We also have fall detection and this happens during workouts. So Apple Watch can call emergency services if you detect a hard fall and if you need help. We also have crash detection and all these features are brand new with Apple's new updates like iOS 16, the iPhone 14, and the Apple Watch Ultra. And we also have sirens. So if you need to attract help in an emergency, your watch can play a loud sound as well. So I definitely recommend turning all of these settings on because they help with emergency services. And if you're having any issues or problems regarding your health, your Apple Watch Ultra can come in very handy in these situations. So let's click continue right here. So if we hold down the power button this time, watch what happens. All these different tabs are gonna pop up regarding emergency services. So for example, we have siren, compass backtrap, emergency call. We also have the option to turn off our Apple Watch by clicking this power button right here, just like that. And if we slide that, the power is gonna go off and you won't be able to use your Apple Watch during the given time. But that's how you can contact emergency services and shut off your Apple Watch. Like I said, the emergency services are a brand new feature for all Apple products. I definitely recommend having those turned on so you can increase your safety and have help when you need it. So there's a few new apps that come with the Apple Watch Ultra that are brand new that I wanna talk about. And the first one is Sirens. Now I already previously explained to you how Sirens work, but if you click on this app right here, it's gonna show you the Sirens battery percentage, which is at 75%, which is the same as your Apple Watch. And say you fall down, you're in an emergency situation and you need others to hear you and you can't speak, you actually can turn on the siren and that'll alert people around you to get some assistance and help. You can also do emergency calls as well. But listen to the noise when I click this plays button right here you're going to see it's very loud and it actually can help bring people towards you if you're in a situation where you need some help And as you can see, as it goes around before the time's up, it gets louder and louder. So the louder it gets, the more likely people will be able to help you out. So I definitely recommend turning that on when you're in any situation where you're going to need some assistance if you fall down or you can't speak. Just turn on the Sirens app right here through your Apple Watch. It comes in very handy in those certain situations. But let's go back to the apps right here. So right now, I just want to show you a little bit about how some of the buttons on the Apple Watch work right here. So for example, we have the digital crown right here. And on the lock screen showing the clock that I have set as my lock screen on my Apple Watch Ultra. If I twist this, it's actually gonna increase or decrease the brightness depending on the moment in time. So if I move it upward, it's gonna start to get dimmer. But if I move it back like this, it's gonna start to get brighter. So depending on how bright you want your screen to be shown, you can just twist this digital crown here and that's actually gonna affect the brightness of your screen. I like it where it's at right now, but if you want to decrease this, all you have to do is just turn it down just like this. This icon right here is actually essentially a ringer for your iPhone. So say you lose your iPhone and you can't located at the moment. If you click this button right here, you're actually going to signify an alarm that comes directly through your iPhone so you can easily find that. So if I click on this, listen to the iPhone in the background, you're going to hear the signal right here. And just like that, that shows you can help you find your iPhone when you need it. We can turn that off right here. Next on the control center, we have our flashlight. And this is pretty cool. If you just turn this on right here, your screen's going to light up white just like this, acting as a flashlight, which is super cool. If you ever need to use that and you don't want to pull out your iPhone, you can just turn that on right here through your Apple Watch. And you have a few options on how bright you want your flashlight to be. So we have our standard right here. But if we swipe left, it's going to start blinking like that. And we also have this cool red light, which is not available on other Apple Watches. This must be brand new on the the Apple Watch Ultra. So this is one of the flashlight options you can choose if you want a red screen for your flashlight. But if we go back to the control center right here and scroll down, we have airplane mode. This is pretty self-explanatory. You just turn that on when you're on an airplane so it doesn't interfere with the taking off of that flight. And then next we have this icon right here, which is actually super cool. And it comes in handy when you go in water with your Apple Watch and you get any water into your Apple Watch. Right here by clicking this icon, it's actually going to eject any water that got trapped in your watch. So watch what happens happens when I click this. I think this is pretty cool right here. And now if I turn my digital crown like this, it's going to say press and hold your digital crown to turn off water lock. So just like this, all the water is going to get removed from my Apple Watch right here. As you can see, it's unlocked and it's ejecting the water at the moment. So this is useful when you are in water and you need to eject any extra water that was trapped in your Apple Watch so you don't damage it. So just turn that on when you go in any water. Now school time is actually a brand new feature that comes with the Apple Watch Ultra. It's a brand new icon in your control. So I just want to 
talk to and bring it up to you guys. So for school time, school time blocks apps and complications. It also turns on do not disturb mode, emergency calls and notifications will still break through. And to exit school time, just turn the digital crown. So essentially when if you're in class or you're in some sort of study hall, you can actually turn on school time so you don't have any distractions. It'll turn on do not disturb so you can focus and increase your productivity. So that's one new feature on the Apple Watch Ultra, but let's dive into the rest of them. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. The next feature I wanna talk about is using Siri on your Apple Watch Ultra. Siri is a universal feature for all Apple products and it comes in very handy specifically for the Apple Watch if you don't want to pull out your iPhone and contact her that way. And there's multiple ways you can actually use Siri on your Apple Watch. The first one is to actually simply by just holding down the digital crown just like this. And as you can see, the Siri tab will pop up and I can ask her anything that I'd like. Then alternatively, instead of that, if you want to just contact Siri in a different way, you can also just say her name. So for example, if I say, hey Siri, show me the weather. And just like that, she's gonna show me the weather and you, all you have to do is just say her name and it'll pop up on your Apple Watch and you can ask her anything you like, but those are two of the main ways you can contact Siri. There's also some other features I'll show you on my iPhone later, but it's how you can use Siri on your Apple Watch Ultra. So the next thing I wanna talk about is actually changing, customizing, and adding new faces to your Apple Watch Ultra. As you can see, since I just set it up, this is the only one I have at the moment, but there's tons of new features and faces they offer with this new watch. And I wanna show you some of these and how you can customize your Apple Watch face according to your preference. So for example, if we hold down on the screen just like this, it's going to zoom out and it's going to show the specific face that I have at the moment. And I can edit this in any way that I want. So if I click edit right here, now I have a few options to choose for the style. So right now we have minute right here. And if I scroll on my digital crown, just like this upwards, basically I have a new option to choose for this style. I have hour and I have minute. So I'm going to keep minute like this just for the sake of this video. We can scroll left and we can choose the bezel right here. So this is my latitude and longitude option. And then you also, have, this is the only option you actually have for the specific watch. The other one is none. So I'm gonna keep it at latitude and longitude just like that. And then we also have the color. So you can choose from tons of different color options. Essentially any color that you want, you can choose with the specific Apple Watch. All these options are going to show you before you actually make that your specific face. But I like the one we're at. But if you want to choose any of these other colors, you can gladly do so. Then lastly, we have complications. So right now we have a few complications we can look at. I have my timer on the bottom left. I have my activity on the bottom right. 
and I also have the UV index on the top and I can change any of these depending on what I want to add. Like I said, I like where this one is at. I think this watch face is actually super cool. So I'm going to keep all these changes the same, but this is one of the options you can choose for your Apple Watch Ultra's face. So now if you want to add a new face to your Apple Watch, you do it in a similar fashion to customizing. So if we hold down on the screen just like this, then scroll right, you'll have the option to add a new face just by clicking this plus button right here. So if we do that, you can look at all the new watch faces. They have some standard ones that come with the previous Apple Watches as well all these right here, but let's look at the new watch faces because I actually haven't taken a look at these yet. And I'm sure some of them are super cool. So we have our standard astronomy, we have lunar, metropolitan, modular, playtime, and we also have portraits and wayfinder. So I have the wayfinder in right now, but for example, if we wanna add modular right here, we can click add right here and we can choose the background like we did with the previous watch face. And then you can scroll, you can look at the color and the other complications that come with it. And you can choose these according to your needs. But this is how you add new watch faces, continuing adding them right here just by clicking this plus button, adding a new one. And then say you wanna change between them, all you have to do is just hold down and swipe and choose which one you want at that specific moment. I'm gonna keep the Wayfinder run because that's the brand new one that we have on the Apple Watch Ultra. But this is how you choose some of the faces. And also on top of this, you can also choose new faces on the iPhone itself. I'll show you the watch app later on in this video and all the customizations you can do with that. This is how you choose faces and customize them on your Apple Watch Ultra. So nightstand mode is a super cool feature. It's available on other Apple Watches, but since the Apple Watch Ultra has the biggest screen, I think it works the best with this one. And with nightstand mode, you can actually use the Apple Watch as a nightstand clock while it's charging overnight. So essentially while you're sleeping, it's gonna be plugged into your Apple Watch's charger and it'll actually act as a nightstand clock right here. So if you have any alarm set on your Apple Watch, the screen will gently brighten in the minutes leading up to it. So say you have an alarm at 745, as it gets closer to 745, the screen's gonna get brighter and brighter until the point where it hits 745 and that alarm's gonna go off and your screen's gonna be fully bright as it can be with this nightstand mode. This works really well if you don't have like a nightstand clock, you can use your Apple Watch instead. Now you can also enable screenshots on your Apple Watch, which is I think is pretty cool. I don't know if you have to use a screenshot for your Apple Watch, but it's cool to know that you have this as an option. So if we click on screenshots right here, you can turn that on. I have it off at the moment, but if I turn this on, all I have to do is just click the side button or the power button and the digital crown at the same time to take a screenshot. So for example, if I do that right now, just like this, it just took a screenshot. And if you go to your iPhone to double check, I'm sure you'll see it in the photo section of your iPhone, but this is pretty cool. You can take a screenshot with your Apple watch. If you didn't know how to do that, all you have to do is just turn on enable screenshots in your settings. And if we go to accessibility, a lot of these features are self-explanatory, but there's one I actually want to talk about. That's pretty new. It was on the previous Apple watch, but like I said, the Apple watch ultra is better. So if we go to a system, of touch that's the one i want to talk about and if we go to that and turn this on essentially what it's going to say is now that you can use certain hand gestures to activate certain signals or commands on your apple watch so for example if we go to hand gestures right here and we scroll down to example double clench you as you can see we have pinch double pinch clench and double clench i'll click double clench right now so for example watch what happens when i double clench my fist it's going to take me to the next option just like that, it's moving forwards and I can choose any of these actions, but if I keep clenching my fist twice, it's gonna move for my Apple Watch. I don't actually have to touch it with my other hand. I can just use my fist to actually move, go forwards with these gestures. So this is super cool. And like I said, if you go back, you can choose tons of different hand gestures like pinch, double pinch, clench, depending on whatever you wanna do. This is pretty cool. This is the assistive touch section on your Apple Watch. Feel free to give it a try when you get the chance. I recommend it. It's a pretty easy and cool way to navigate your Apple Watch Ultra. But let's go back to settings right here. Did you know you can actually use your Apple Watch Ultra to help wash your hands and set a timer for how long you need to wash your hands? If you go to settings and go to hand washing right here, it's actually going to say your Apple Watch can detect when you're washing your hands and start a 20 second timer. So now whenever you put your hands under a sink to wash your hands, the Apple Watch Ultra will actually pick that up and start a timer for 20 seconds, which is the standard amount of time you should wash your hands for. And it'll actually let you know when you're done washing your hands and that 20 seconds is up. So I recommend turning this on just just to get an idea of how long you're washing your hands for so you can have that standard 20 second time when doing so. And if we scroll down right here, you can actually turn on hand washing reminders as well. And you can receive a notification if you haven't washed your hands within a few minutes of returning to your house. So you can turn this on, but this is a super cool feature if you wanna help wash your hands using your Apple Watch Ultra. And the next app I wanna talk about is the Sleep app. So I use this on a daily basis with my phone and my previous Apple Watch. It comes in very handy to improve your sleep quality every single night. So if we click on the sleep app, you're gonna see there's a few options. So when I got my iPhone, I set my bedtime to 12 a.m. 
and my alarm at 7.45 a.m. So this actually translated over from my iPhone to my Apple Watch Ultra when I got it, but you can customize and you can check out your full schedule just by clicking that right here. And now we have our sleep schedule turned on and I have it on every day, but you can always customize this and you can add a new schedule if you want. You can choose a sleep goal. So you wanna choose how many hours you wanna sleep and I'll actually track that metric for you to see if you're getting that amount of sleep that you put in for your goal. So if we click that right here, you can choose how long you wanna get your sleep in for. I have seven hours, which is a standard time for people my age. Then if we go back, you can also choose a wind down option. I have it off at the moment, but by turning it on, essentially you can reduce distractions before your bedtime to help you relax. And this will help you start your sleep focus earlier. So essentially what this means is a lot of us like to spend time on our phones or our devices before we go to bed, but that actually can strain our eyes and also affect our sleep in a negative way. So if you want to actually increase your productivity while you're sleeping and increase the quality of your sleep, you can turn on this wind down mode and actually reduce these distractions before you go to bed so you're not inclined to go on your Apple Watch or your phone, which I definitely recommend turning on. The Apple Watch is a great job at helping you with your health and quality of your well-being. So this is one way you can do it with the sleep app. You can customize your schedule and do any other features that you'd like with the sleep schedule on the sleep app on your Apple Watch. You can also track your heart rate and your blood oxygen content right here directly through your Apple Watch, which comes in very handy. Like I said, the Apple Watch is a great job improving your health and well-being. But if you click on this right here, you're going to see it's going to take me to the heart rate. It's going to track my current heart rate and my resting heart rate. So my resting heart rate is going to be tracked while I'm sleeping because I'm resting during those time. It's going to show me what my heart rate is during while I'm walking or working out. And also if I go on the fitness app, it'll also show this metric as well. But if you want to track your heart rate, you just know you can do that on your Apple Watch. Then we also have our blood oxygen level right here. So you can actually measure your blood oxygen content. You want to have your blood oxygen levels between 99 and 100%. That signifies good levels of blood oxygen. And here's some good tips that you can take to take a good measurement. So if we click next right here, you want to make sure your watch is not too low on your wrist and your watch band should be snug but comfortable. And if we click next right here, you're going to see keep your watch facing up and try not to move move, resting your wrist on the table can help as well. So let's try this out. Let's click done right here. And now it's going to start measuring my blood oxygen level. It's going to count down from a timer to help me track this information. And as you can see, after my timer's up, it's going to show my blood oxygen level, which is 100%, which is a very good oxygen level to have in your blood. And just know that you can do this on your Apple Watch if you need to. And also regarding all the other health features that come with this Apple Watch, you actually have a new app that comes on this right here, and it's called the Medications app. So I don't have this set up right now, but say you want to keep track of taking your medications, you can use the health app right here to set your medication logging. It'll actually send alarms and notifications when you need to take your medication if you schedule that on your health app on your iphone so if you have any of these complications where you need to actually have schedules of taking your medication just know you can use your apple watch to help you do so you'll receive a little notification saying hey it's time to take that medication so you'll be good to go i hope you all enjoyed today's video these are the best tips tricks and hidden features for your apple watch if you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. On top of this, go give us a follow at appfindvip on Instagram. This is our Instagram account where we're going to be sharing the best features for all the Apple Watches, iPhones, and all Android technology out there. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.